Looking straight up. All right, we're first game one is in uh, Battlefield. Nice little exchange. Down throw into there. Oh, wow. Edge of cancel in there just pulls him back. It's really, the, the Samus matchup is a really an interesting one. Oh, nice up air. He wasn't patient enough. Lufusadi loses his first stock on edge guard. It's showing why uh, I went for my fans and loves this game so much. He just kind of just figures out a way to just induce the cheese, as we say. Drop shield and gets forward smash for its mono mono three stocks apiece. Okay, gets him off stage, gets back on the side B. Oh wow, that trade, and that's what we talk about with Samus. Like Samus has a lot of moments where she can just trade and still pump you out. A lot of pressure with Shine down here. How's it going, dude? You want to get on the mic? We have a uh, top decade on the mic pretty soon here. Hello, hello. Yep, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Okay, awesome. Look at this. Jordan Conrad playing as Samus. Just gets off, uh, gets Lumasadi off stage with Nair, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now talk to me about this matchup. Like, like I said, uh, I've been asking people a lot today about Samus versus anybody matchup. But what do you what do you do if you're Falco to really uh, open up a decent Samus player? Um, so like any sort of uh, top tier player that's trying to play against a Samus, you have to play kind of campy uh, uh, because okay. Samus has like there's a lot of stark contrast in her moves. They're either really really hard hits or they're really soft hits. So especially against Falco, um, Samus's punish game is a lot harder than Falco's punish game. Yeah, you kind of gotta bait it out. A lot of players think that it's kind of even for these two. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like it here. 3-1 stock lead. Uh, Jordan over Lumasati, but yeah, I can, I can see that. I can see that for sure. Well, that's, the, that's the other advantage that a lot of Samuses have in their scene is that not a lot of people play Samus in the scene. So obviously there's Jordan. Yeah. Number one player in Gainesville. And then there's me. And we're the two Samuses in Gainesville. Th that's literally it? That, that, that's it. That, that's the problem right there. Yeah. Probably even less for Luigi, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody plays that character these days except for Passant. But getting back into it, uh, Jordan's up one stock. You're just sort of uh, getting him out of shield. That's the one thing that Falcos uh, need to adapt to when they're playing the matchup. Is uh, They often try and apply a lot of shield pressure, but Samus' is out of shield options are really strong, especially with up B and Nair out of shield. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, you just have to wait for Falco to mess up once, and that's it. Yep. You know, and then it really makes you change your play style as far as the shield pressure game is concerned. Mm -hmm. Nice little nair. And Jordan's so good at that, just kind of randomly placing nairs out and just watching you run into yeah. it because the hitbox lasts so long. Well, you're making the comparison to Luigi. It's kind of like they're, mm -hmm. they're comboing you and then you get a good place nair and then their combo is your combo. It's crazy, man. But uh, I went for my fans taking that first game with forward smash. This is Loser's Finals, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Kind of picks to Yoshi's story. That's an interesting pick, too, because, uh... Oh, that wow. That quick shine off the top. It only takes a second, man. Yeah. <laughs> Especially on Yoshi's story. We should know better. Yeah. It's really what he's looking for here is just some quick kills, because Samus, Samus can last forever because of the, the weird weight. She's both a floaty and a heavy. So often living to, like, over 200%. Oh, nice little, was that a tech? Or did he hit random? Uh, that was a spike cancel, because it's, uh, it's a meteor for the side B, right. not a spike, so just immediate up B. Can I, I should have screamed. That was how hyped that was. <laughs> nice ledge guard. We're, we're tied up again, three stocks apiece. Uh -huh. He's got a charge shot ready. I haven't really seen him use it that, uh, that often today, though. I think that's it puts that catch. fear in people. That's the one big thing. Yeah. That's all pretty much, you know, some players, that that's all they really want is just to instill the fear, but just land regular combos on them. Yeah. That's I the other unique fact that she has is not other, not a lot of other characters have a charge B. I mean, Cheek Needle's not really as intimidating as a charge shot. Exactly. And something even more unique with Illumisati is that, that, that uh, down B into up air. It's for some, whatever reason, it's been killing everybody today. Yeah. Right now, Illumisati sitting at three stocks. I went for our fans at two. 
Oh, gets the go. Oh, get over Top here. Safe check chase. Yep, yep. Nice down at the down smash. Still alive. Damage. Oh, no, he's dead. Yep. Pretty standard follow up on Yocha's story. When you get them onto that uh, top platform after an up throw, you get down smash, you get a re grab. Nice B from Lou Sadi. <sighs> you hate to see it, but we've been seeing it a lot today. Two stocks to one right now. One from our fans in the lead. Oh, punches a mistech. Oh, he whiffed it side track. For the first time, we see recovery. it. And that's the Nair, and that should be game two. That SD really hurt him there. On the it did. Last it, it really did. And good stuff to that one from our fans for capitalizing on it. He runs it back. I mean, and I like it because he, he had to leave. Yep. Definitely understand the pick. Just a couple of misplays here and there. Just taking a few seconds, take some breathing. For a neutral start. Coming from our fans with the uh, the first blood. It doesn't matter though. Oh, Gets the double. Bears. <laughs> He's throwing them out. One thing that Jordan does really well is he mixes up his recovery almost every time he gets back to stage. I mean, he has to. Big claws get for Samus. For gets sure. Off the Oop, double nair. That's what I've been saying, man. He just kind of throws these nairs out, and it, they sort of just find their opponent. Another one. Another nair. And that's it. Moon side loses his first stock. Oh, dropping Florida the ledge for it. Ledge. Good shield. Randall again messing things up for Falco. Keeping these up Bs, just again, just not respecting Samus' shield. And it does a lot of damage, too. Yep. Anywhere from 9 to 12, I believe. Ooh. The grab. And we'll see. Ah, there's, there's the, the sick Good charge shot we were side. talking about. Nice forward smash, smash to clean it up. So now I went from a fans is on a comfortable lead. Four stocks to two. But this is Yoshi's story. Anything can happen. We'll see. Get another shine up. Ooh. I I'm surprised he didn't go for up air. Or shine, yeah. Yeah, I thought but he had shine up. Ah, uh, there's the forward air kill. No. Oh. You hate to see it again, Suicide but bomb. still. Shine, shine. Let's go for those quick kills. But again, Samus is a heavy floaty. I mean, if, if so if you're Lumisati in this situation, I mean, do you feel like you can still do it? I mean, you have to. In Lucy's, uh, Lucy's finals, you got to believe that every every moment is an opportunity to shine. So, well. Opportunity to shine. I like it, but it shine, didn't work. It's shine okay. Day. I went from my, my fans moves on. Okay, Heading into grand finals now. Grands against Stan. Looking like deja vu from two weeks ago. This is how it pretty much is all the time in the tournaments. I feel like it is too. Hopefully, if we get some more people out, we can shake things up in, in the future. Yeah, I'm hoping.